Traders, we're going to take a deep dive into the US dollar. We're going to understand how we can trade it and what is next for the dollar. Welcome to Simply Forex. If you want to improve as a trader, then you're definitely in the right place. Each week, I'm going to give you easy to follow trade ideas, tips and advice so you too can succeed at trading. And if you stay till the end of the vid, I'm going to give you every one of my trade ideas for today. And if you like the sound of all of that guys then please subscribe to the channel smash the notification button and please don't forget to smash the like button right let's get stuck in and let's start with the us dollar as i said now no better place to start than the dollar index right and i haven't been trading the dollar but clearly it's a strong dollar look how bullish this is guys right that is super duper bullish and look at this weekly candle this is the weekly chart right and obviously this candle hasn't finished forming but everything is strong dollar all right but why haven't i traded it okay and we're going to try and understand that and why i'm just biding my time with the dollar and i haven't really traded it since trump has been elected and whether he likes it or not he has a strong dollar right? But we're going to try and understand how we can trade it, right? Because right now it's not a trade for me. Now, if we look at the dollar index, okay, it is super bullish, all right? But now we are approaching key, key resistance level. This is a key resistance level. Look how price reacted at this level. And this is a key resistance level for the dollar look how price reacted at that level so you can see we are you know at this level pretty much or fast approaching this level now because of that even if we you know we're seeing a strong dollar i don't want to buy the dollar into these levels i just don't even this level we could get a strong reaction so i don't want to buy the dollar into these levels so I'm going to wait and see how price reacts in this zone. And this is mirrored across a lot of US dollar pairs, right? So if we look at US dollar, Canadian dollar, and we are at a key weekly level, right? We are, okay? Now, obviously, it looks like it's breaking this level, but... You know, this is a weekly candle and you could end up having a candle that looks like that, right? Then that will be holding this level. Okay, so for me, it's still at a key weekly resistance level. Um, if we look at New Zealand dollar, US dollar, right? We're going to look at the weekly chart, right? This too is at a key weekly support level in this case. And this would suggest right a bounce off of this level because it's such a key level and that would suggest some short-term dollar weakness okay um let's have a look at another one let's have a look at pound us dollar again weekly chart right this is the last well this is one of the swing lows on this weekly uptrend right okay and you know the, the dollar, this strength has gone such a long way in a short space of time that once it hits a key support level like this, you know, again, we can expect a bit of a bounce off and that would suggest short term dollar weakness. So, you know, looking at this chart, you would want to sell the dollar and looking at the dollar index, you would want to, you know, buy dollar strength and looking at this chart. That is also true, but it's just at these key levels. So what I'm going to do, guys, is just wait for this week to finish, right? And I'm going to see how these weekly candles end up looking, right? So if it ends up, you know, looking like this big bearish candle and we get another break, you know, of another key level like this, then potentially we can carry on, you know, with dollar strength, but if we end up with a big bullish, you know, wick that looks something like this at this level, then I think we can potentially trade the retrace and dollar weakness. 
right? And and what we'll have a big say in this is news today, all right? So if we look at the economic calendar, guys, you can see uh, 1.30 London GMT today, we have a slew of um, US dollar data. So yeah, we've got PPI and initial jobless claims, right? And we've also got crude oil inventories later as well. But this is gonna have a big impact on what happens at these crucial levels for the dollar. So I'm, like I say, guys, gonna stay away from the dollar until the end of this week, and then I'm gonna make a, a decision based on these weekly candles. You know, having said that, right, there are a couple of US dollar pairs that I would buy, like US dollar Japanese yen, right? You know, this, this has room to move into, okay? But when I trade the US dollar, I'm doing it as a collective across all of the US dollar majors. I'm taking a big macro view of the dollar. And even if US dollar yen says, Tom, you should buy this chart, I'm still not going to because of the macro view of the dollar. All right. So, yeah, I just wanted to cover the dollar, guys, so that um, you understand why I haven't really been looking at any dollar majors. And if you enjoy the analysis, guys, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, smash the notification button and smash the like button. Also, don't forget to join our trading community, right? It's free. We have a free Discord channel. We've got um, strategies on there. We've got other traders on there. We've got great knowledge, experience. So come join our trading community and learn how to trade. Come join our free Discord channel. Right, stay tuned because we have my trade ideas for today. And we are going to start with Swiss franc yen. Now, a lot of the yen pairs are at interesting levels, and it could go one or two ways, right? Are we about to see some yen strength, or will yen weakness continue? Now, with Swiss franc yen, I think we've had a bit of a, you know, a clear breakdown. But looking at the weekly, right, I'm just, we have a nice big bearish weekly candle. Okay, we've still a little bit of room to move into potentially. All right, but what I really like is the day chart. And, you know, I still need to see a lot of things happen here. But if the following happens, right, so we were in a day tr uptrend. And now we are in a daily downtrend, right? Lower highs, lower lows. Will we get a new lower high? Who knows, right? But what I will do is trade as follows, all right? So I want to sell this because it's in a downtrend, okay? We've got a nice big weekly bearish candle, and the idea would be to come back down to here. But only if the following happens. If we look at the H4, I just want to see a breakdown in structure. There's no better indicator than a break of structure. There just isn't, right? You know, and I need to see this. So as you can see, H4 is clearly in an uptrend, okay? And potentially, you know, if price carries on back up to here, I mean, I'm just not interested in this trade, okay? However, if price doesn't do that and price ends up breaking this level, so we get something like this and we get a break of structure, then I will be selling Swiss franc yen back down to these lows. Now, obviously, they, uh, those guys, this could take, uh, you know, a day, a couple of days to play out, right, until we get that structure break. We may not even get the structure break. But if we do and something happens like this, I will be selling Swiss franc yen. Uh, my next trade is Euro Swiss franc. So we're seeing a little bit of Swiss franc weakness and Swiss franc is at some really interesting levels, right? Um, let me just show you another couple of pairs as well. So if we look at, these are not necessarily trade ideas, right? But if you look at New Zealand dollar, Swiss franc, right? At an interesting level to go higher, right? If we look at Aussie dollar, Swiss franc, this too is at an interesting level to go higher, right? It was in this 
this is where we're at an interesting level to go higher but the one i like and one of my trade ideas is euro swiss franc all right and we are looking to buy this so let's start with the weekly because on the weekly you can just see this area of support right it just keeps holding in the words words of gandalf you shall not pass right this level keeps on holding um and like I said on the weekly chart, guys, looking at the moving average 20 is always a good target on the weekly, right? So we still have room to go back up to at least this level, potentially a bit higher, right? You know, if this level holds. And then we drop down to the day chart to look for clues to see if it's holding. And again, right, we're still getting these bullish wicks at this level right we've got them over and over again it's just nothing but bullish wicks at this level now i hear you with regards to structure okay so if we just followed structure right it's you know this last low hasn't broken Right? You're probably thinking, Tom, what the hell are you talking about? But it hasn't, right? That is the last low. And these wicks keep closing back into this low and bouncing off this weekly support level. So I still think this has room back up to here, okay? Um, and if we look at the H4 now, you can see we broke out of this trend line, right? So price was coming down on the H4, tracking this trend line beautifully, right? You can see this blue trend line here, right? And then it broke this trend line. But what it didn't break was the last H4 high, right? And look at the reaction we got. So that goes to show you how important H4 structure is, right? This really obeyed H4 structure. So again, we see, need to see a lot happen. I'm in this trade. I had a sort of a, a H1 aggressive entry, if you like, and I'm still in this trade. My stop loss is literally here and it didn't get triggered. OK, so I'm still in this trade. But what I really want to see now is a break at this level. Right. So price comes down. Yeah, it uses this as support and this trend line as support. And then perhaps we get something like this and then a break of this level. Once we break H4 structure, I really think we have room all the way back up to here. Or if we break H4 structure, if we don't, don't trade it. Um, so Euro Swiss franc buys is also a trade idea. Um, also, we're looking at Euro New Zealand as well. Uh, guys, before I show you Euro New Zealand, please don't forget to join me for the live stream today, 7 a.m. EST New York time. Uh, get all your questions ready for me. Um, we will have a blast. We'll have a small party, if you like. Um, bring your own booze. Right, day chart. Um, Euro New Zealand dollar. So let's start with the weekly because I really like the weekly here. And as you can see, we was in a downtrend. And then in the words of Batman, Kapow, we're in an uptrend, right? We're getting higher highs, higher lows, right? Is this the new higher low? Potentially. Okay. And then if we look at the day chart, I was having this conversation with one of the VIP crew. Um, and, you know, this is, for me, is still in an uptrend. This is what I'm seeing. Okay. And, you know, guys, always leave your thoughts, guys. You know, it, what, what are you seeing with Euro New Zealand dollar? Are you seeing a daily uptrend or a daily downtrend? I'd love to hear from you. So please leave a comment uh, below the vid. And also leave a comment on which trades you like, which trades you are looking at as well. Um, but I'm seeing a daily uptrend, right? And ever since we've hit this key support level, just look how bullish it is. Like bullish, bullish. And also what I really like, and sorry, guys, we're just trying to take price back up to this 1.8050 uh, 1 level, is we've had a H4 break, right? So you can clearly see. Now, here it wasn't that clear, right? I was thinking, okay, is that is that H4 uptrend? Not sure. Bang. Now we're sure, right? We're getting higher lows, higher highs. We are in an uptrend. And all I want to see, guys, is a retrace down into this level 
I will start buying with a view to taking it back up to here, put my stop loss below the last low, happy days. All right, should be a good trade. But we need that retrace. So Euro New Zealand buys, um, as I've described there. And then the final trade for today is pound Canadian dollar. Um, let's start with the day chart. And it's just a case of, you know, it has a bit more room to go. You can clearly see, you know, price was just kind of ranging in here and then bang, right? Um, it broke these lows, we're in a downtrend. And sellers are in complete control. Sellers, even yesterday's candle is not a buying candle. Sellers control this market. And we're just trying to take it back down to this low and this area of support. The problem is, you know, on the H4, where do we enter? When something's dropped so far like that, like this, right? You know, if I don't get, you know, a worthy enough retrace and then I take it down, I won't trade it. If price just comes down and then comes down again, I don't really have a trade. So what would I like to see? I would like to see something like this. I would like to see price come down to here, right? And, you know, it ranges a bit more and price still manages to take it up to these last highs. We get a nice big rejection wick like this. Perhaps the moving average 20 just touches it. This is like perfect scenario. It will be interesting to see if this plays out. Yeah, hold on to these highs, these H4 highs. So structure isn't broken and then we'll take it down. So that's really the only scenario I could trade pound Canadian dollar sales, but I'm still looking at it um, for sales. Um, and that, guys, is my trade ideas for today. If you've enjoyed the vid, please subscribe, like, and share. Please don't forget to join our trading community. We'd love to have you. It's free. I'll see you later for the live stream, 7 a.m. New York EST time. Have a great trading day.